Hey, church and family and friends, uh, whoever might watch this, we are excited to see what God's going to do Sunday. Just sitting here studying through the book of James, I want to encourage you real fast. You'll find in the beginning of the chapter in James 1, you'll see this, this idea, or not this idea, but this application of truth applied to our lives, this external weight. Basically, what we find is this outward attitude that God desires and how it um, will affect us and how we're to live out with joy with trials and troubles. Then you get to verse 5 and then we find wisdom that's basically this internal fortitude. So we have this outward attitude that God desires or um, hope that we would see out of our life through trials, but then there's this internal fortitude that is being created within us and that is coming to us and through us uh, by the work of the Holy Spirit of God through wisdom. And you'll see where it says, let it, if any man lack wisdom. And so we're going to look at that passage of scripture and just break it down Sunday. I know it's going to encourage you. It might encourage you today because there's ever a time that we need wisdom. It is now. And you'll see in this passage, this wisdom is for trials, for tough times, difficult circumstances. So know that um, God is creating this internal fortitude to march on and go forth. And God will give us Give us that through the means of wisdom. And remember, wisdom is not knowledge that is just gained. Wisdom is knowledge that is received and given and meant to be applied to our lives. So it's just not knowledge gained, but it's action lived out in our lives applied to our daily walk, especially in the life of troubles and trials. Hope you tune in Sunday or just catch it and watch it later. God bless you. Have a great day.